Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a custom form. In order to be able to create a custom form you'll need to have the custom form creation option available in your subscription choice. So here you can see uh, bronze doesn't have custom form creation but silver does. To get started, choose Administer Forms. To create a form, you must first give some details. I'm going to call this one Richard's Form. My test form. Do you want to validate the form is the question here. Uh, basically, if if you validate it, you can set fields to particular types. Like, for example, I might set a text field to a telephone number. Um, and if the user creates an invalid telephone number, then it'll give a message saying invalid telephone number. So it's usually best to tick this option. So I'll tick that. And then to create the form, just simply press the Create button here. And that takes you straight into editing the form. In this screen, you could see this is the form canvas here, which is divided into um, um, a number of rows in two columns. Uh, and you can um, insert and delete rows by clicking on these options here. The form controls are on the left hand side of the screen. Uh, and simply, all you do is, is choose which option you want and then drag it onto the canvas here. Uh, you can move them around as well. So the most basic kind of uh, field is a text field. So I'm just going to put one on the form. So I just click once to pick it up, drag it over to the, f the canvas and drop it on. And that brings up the details for the field. So I'm going to do a custom built contact us form. So I'm going to put first name in there. So you can set how, how the size of the field in, in characters and maximum size in characters. Um, I'm going to set a default value, which is what it will default to, to um, first name. Now I could choose a different field type. This is where I the validation comes in. So I can choose any of these field types and uh, it will be validated against that. Um, so for, I'm, I'm going to pick alpha only for first name. Um, compulsory field uh, means that you have to, to add the field in otherwise it won't accept the form. Um, so I'm going to make this a compulsory field so just tick that, press save and our field appears on the form. I'm going to create another one now the same, except this is going to be our surname um, alphabetical only Compulsory field. Right, so I've got my first name and surname. Now I can move parts of the canvas around. So, for example, if I drag first name to surname, they'll swap positions. If I drag it to a blank area, then it rem it moves it there. Put it back. Right, another kind of field uh, that's commonly used is the check check boxes. So I'm just going to drag a checkbox control over to the form. Now, again, you have to ha give a label for each field, and that has to be unique. So I'm going to label this one um, weekday. Um, it's a compulsory field. Um, Now you can create um, options, um, checkboxes uh, manually. 
Uh, to do that, simply if I put, for example, Monday in here and click on Add Checkbox and then Tuesday Add Checkbox and we can manually add them. Um, you can click on an option to set the default whether it's ticked or not. Um, if you want to delete one, just press the Remove Checkbox. Now there's a, a time-saving feature that um, allows you to import different kinds of um, field values. If you just click on Import Options, um, you will see you have a, a list of different kinds of fields that you can import. So I'm going to pick Weekdays and press Import. And there you can see it's added all the weekdays. And I'm just going to tick Monday so that that will appear ticked. Just press save and there you go you could see our checkbox field on the form um, like so. Next I'm going to create a drop down list and this is going to be our country and I'm going to import again and I'm going to import countries and I'm going to set the default to United Kingdom there and press save and you will see we've got a, a drop down list box for country now I'm just going to insert a row and just move these up Another kind of uh, field is the is the options field. Um, I'll just create one now, so I'll just drag it over to the form. Um, I'm going to import months. I'm going to import months for this one, so just press import, and it imports all of the the months. Um, and I can select which one will be the default, like so. Um, give it a name, a field name, month. Simply press save, and we have our field there, our option field. Now, the main thing about an option field is that only one of the options can be selected in the group unlike the checkboxes where uh, you can have each item can be checked or unchecked basically ticked or unticked now the last kind of field is a text area which is basically a big box for text rather than the, the text data field so I'm just going to drag my text area onto the form and I'm just going to call this message and you can set the number of columns and rows that it takes up so I'm going to set it to um, 10 rows and 10 columns uh, and we could set a default value so I'll put my message and it's not a compulsory field so tick and there we go there is our text area one last thing to show you is how to delete um, a field. I'm just going to add a, another row here and I'm going to drag a text field over to it just to accept the defaults. Now if I want to delete any field all I have to do is simply pick it up drag it to the dustbin and it's gone. So I'm going to save that form now that takes us back to the main form editing screen now if I were to have a look at what that form is going to look like in HTML um, then simply select the the, uh, the form here and press preview and there you can see that is the completed form here um, 
press back now to take me back to the main menu. The last step is to add that custom form to a web page. Um, so I'm just going to go into create stroke edit pages and I'm going to add a new page. And I'm going to call it Richard's form. I'll just press edit to edit the page. So I need to insert I'm just going to insert some text first. So I click the insert plugin box and I choose custom form. And then I have to choose the destination page, so when the form is completed, which page it will go to. So I'm going to set that to the home page. And I need to choose which form I'm inserting, and it's Richard's form here. Press save. And that's created that custom form in the page. I'm just going to press save. So if I now press preview, you can see the form has been inserted into the page. So the last thing to do is to publish the website and that will create that custom form on the page. So if I visit that site now, which is Richard at the top here. So I'm now viewing the uh, the website. If I click on Richard's form and it shows us the form. Uh, I'm just going to do some demonstration like if I press submit now. Uh, that's a mandatory field so it has to have a value. Uh, if I put uh, numbers into that field, it's an alpha field, so uh, you can't put numbers into it. So I'm just going to put my name in and press submit. And that takes us back to the home page because we selected that as the destination page. Now what will happen uh, is that uh, you will receive an email with the contents of that form that has been completed when one of your customers completes the, um, the custom form. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.